Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show the Father we appreciate. God's good, God's good, God's good. Good morning, family. What can I say? God woke us up on this beautiful day. He's generous, he's wonderful, he's kind and great. So let's show the Father we appreciate. God's good. God's good, God's good, God's good, God's good, God's good. Yeah, Mike Ty Morning Show. Tell your mama now. It's your boy Michael Kai. I couldn't find a button because I'm using my phone today. So be the button be real little and stuff instead of having this big screen. I'm coming to you live today, all the way live. I told my girl Katie, I said, Katie, put up a picture of me and my queen. You know, and she said, Can I pick the one I want? And which one did she pick? The one with me wearing the same damn suit I got on today. Doggone it in the heck he shoot. It, it's a good looking suit. It don't get enough time out here. So I'm in the studios now of iHeart Studios. Uh, this is iHeart Studios down here in, in Memphis, Tennessee. See that big old Memphis going all the way across like that? And today, today we're going to be doing a comedy show tonight, uh, me and Katie. And this is the owner of the comedy club, Chuckles, here in Memphis, Tennessee. How you doing? Ain't he fly? Ain't he fly? He making all the money at Chuckles. You know, you got two places now or just one? Just the one. He, he down to one, down to just one comedy club. Oh, man, he pulling back. Anyway, y'all, welcome. It's another beautiful day. Uh, I, I got to look at my numbers because I think I'm married today 160 days today. Let me look at my, my little number board here. A hundred, here's an here's, here's equation, 160 over 35 over 14. That means I've been married 160 days. We have 35 days before we lay out the coldest comedy concert uh uh special y'all ever seen we're shooting it live from venice beach may 17th it's called the king of venice beach we're building a crown looks like a king's crown i'm gonna stand in the middle of it do an hour and a half and whatever happens happens it's gonna be off the chain uh and 14 days before we cut off the indiegogo now indiegogo is a way for y'all to give if you want to be part of this if you'd like to be part of the production out there Go to Indiegogo, S I N D I E, and then go go, G O, G O, and just put in Michael Kaya 3.0 and watch the tape. It'll tell you all the rest. Oh. Chicken's here. Uh, we're in Memphis where they have good barbecue, except they also have some weird barbecue. They get, see, I think for me it's about the sauce. And here they got barbecue sauce that's yellow. I can't do no damn yellow barbecue sauce. Red. Red is the color barbecue sauce need to be for me. I'm from Chicago, South Side. Good old red. If you're in St. Louis, good red. Kansas City, where they put vinegar. Don't put no vinegar in my dog on barbecue. So you, that's sabotage. Anyway, I love me some Memphis. It's the home of the blues. Also, uh, unfortunately, uh, the Hotel Lorraine is here, which is fortunate, but unfortunately, that's where Martin Luther King was assassinated. But I go and visit that. A place because it is a historical place that we need to always remember and lift up so we understand the messages and the lessons. And I just want to say love to Katie. Oh, my God. Katie Funny AF really is off the chain. She's not just a great comedian, a great friend, but she is a really great producer. She's on her job this morning. She came in and put it all together because I'm doing two radio shows this morning and I'm going to TV next. I didn't have time to do it. And she took her time and went to each person. Let me give you a salute. You better go on with your bad self. All right. Well, let's get started. Uh, today is Friday, April 11th. This is episode 797. We have done this thing 797 times. In three more days, three more performance days, we're going to do the 800 show, and we're going to do something kind of special for that. My girl, um, Rosa May, is already working on that. We got a great show today. There's a new woman singing who I haven't seen singing. And I hope I pronounced her name correctly. It's uh, Precious Omiji. Or Omiji, Omiji, we're going to find out. I'll be messing people's names up left and right. A new comic we haven't seen, Daniel Good, and then our staples. 
Malira Green, the relationship queen, is going to come on and talk to us about her joy and what's going on. And then after prayer, we're going to wrap that thing up with Angela Michelle and culinary kisses. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I gave those three kisses to my Sonia. She's my culinary kiss. Mmm, delicious. Hi, baby. I love you. Good morning. Let's get started. Let me bring on my co hostesses with the most the fabulous Treya. Black is here. Straight up, Black is all the way back. Hey, beautiful. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, this is my first time seeing you this morning. You look beautiful. Thank you, boss. I How like you your doing? outfit. When it gets too oh, warm, let me have it. It's soft, too. I got this because of Eddie Murphy. You know, Eddie Murphy had that red leather suit. He looked good in the two or tight. And I saw this on the island. Look how soft it is. It's cushy and it's just comfy. And if Thank it gets too little, it. I can have it. You'll look good in it, too. I might give it to you. <laughs> We'll see. All right. And our other co host is who also the producer of the show, the wonderful, fabulous uh, Katie Funny AF. Yay. Yay. Oh, Good She's morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. We did the show last night. This girl was so good. She was so good. I and mean, we didn't have a whole lot of people, a lot, a lot of people. We had maybe a couple of hundred, maybe something like that. But she went up and did her thing with a comfort and an excellence. Very, very good. I, and she didn't think she had done that well. She said, oh, I was nervous the whole time. Girl, you killed it. And you know, if you, don't, if you don't, you know, I'll tell you. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you. So we got five more shows here. Uh, two Friday, two Saturday, one Sunday. I hope you make it down here straight up because you know yes. my lovely wife's coming Saturday. I know. So I know. Exciting. I know. I'm trying and to we pull up. We cook the soul food on Sunday at, at the, the Airbnb we have, which is just beautiful. And our friend, Dr. Dove, Dr. Joseph Dove, who's a dentist here, that when I did my book on Barack Obama, he bought like three cases of the books and would give one to each child as he did their teeth. And all they had to do was write a three page uh, essay on Barack Obama based on a book, which connected them with their culture and their history and helped me sell some books. And he's coming over Sunday and bring in oxtails. I Ooh. said, what? I said, you got them? He said, I already got them in the freezer. I'm ready to go. I know I'm doing greens and cornbread. I hope we can trick my baby into making salmon croquettes. I don't even know what she's going to cook. But whatever it is, it's going to be delicious. OK? Hey. There's something, it's something very important this week that I need everybody to y'all gather around, come in close. This is so important. We cannot forget this. Y'all get ready. Um. Birthday behavior has been activated, which means that I need you guys to start putting in those cash apps. Get those cash apps out there. It's so simple. It's Full birthday. birthday. What day is your birthday? Every day, but I was born April 15th. <laughs> I was born April 15th. What? Yeah, and it's also Malira's birthday, Tapir. We we are out here doing this, and we've been doing this all our life, and nobody seems to care. Every year we do this. We have a birthday, and y'all act like it's no big deal. We need y'all to get them cash apps pushing. Dollar sign, Katie, like the white girl, funny AF. Y'all need to get this taken care of because I'm going to be blowing money left and right, so I'm going to need help with this. I need well, help with this birthday thing. Well, that's right. We're not ignoring you. We really want to give you something for the for the birthday. But everybody around here broke. We try to raise this money for my show, May 17th. But yes, please give. Give until it hurts. Happy birthday. I, you gonna tell how old you are or no? We keep that secret. Still 23. I don't try that's when you're doing something you. really good. When you do something in your I'm, I'm like so good at being 23. I might do it 23 more times. This is what I'm gonna do. Ooh, Tamika Fog Fogey is on, yo. Oh, my God. Tamika. She sings her face off, yo. And not only did she sing great on the show, this weekend we did, last weekend we did uh, St. Louis, a guy passed out, had a heart attack. You, you know what me. they found out why it was? Did I tell you why? It was from the response for Josiah. I'm not lying. The last. Bro Josiah was doing so good that people was going crazy. Remember, we could feel it in the room. We could feel a room moving. It was so much noise from it that it threw off his, defib his defibrillator, whatever the thing is he keeps for his heart, and it threw it off, and the dude passed out. Yeah. And then, after doing a great set and making the man pass out, he went over and prayed over the guy. The guy laying there 10 minutes in the middle of the show. You think they stopped the show? Mm -mm. The show must go on. And Tamika was there, so I brought her up, and she sang a show. So leveled it out. By the time the uh, paramedics got there, that boy got up and left, went home. So anyway, 
Uh, yay, yay, and yay to life, to living this thing that we do. We are living our dreams, yo. And we may not have achieved the goal yet, but it's not about the destination. It's about the journey. If you're having fun along the way, even if you don't make it, who cares? So live the journey. Enjoy your life. Let's walk today with an attitude of gratitude. Let's get started. You got your finger on that button for the comedian. You mean this button right here? Yeah, we right. make folks this time for Michael Callier's Comedy Corner. Come on, somebody. Some of the funniest comedians on the planet has been on this show. Over 400 comics have done their dance right here at the Comedy Corner, which will be funny. I'll tell you right now, if you ain't funny, whoo! It's going to be a long walk back to your car. We're going to talk about you. Ooh, we're going to say some terrible stuff. You're going to hate us. So you better be good because it's the Michael Kaye Comedy Corner. <laughs> oh, man, this young man, I'm very excited. He is a shot in the dark for me, though, because I haven't seen him before. But the boy, I, I think he's funny, so we're going to find out. Let's get our hands together for Daniel Gould. Daniel Gould in the house. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, How y'all doing now? This, this is a blessing right here, being on a Michael Cole, y'all show. You know, Michael called my phone himself. I picked up faster than I do for my mama. <laughs> <laughs> I was at work, too. Boss said, what you doing on the phone? I said, look, man, I got some important business I'm trying to handle. He said, let me handle it real quick. He said, you know the rules, no phones. I said, look here, man. My feet, back, and my head hurt. But you next if you keep bothering me, man. Let me <laughs> now, look, I don't like being at work. You know, y'all cross ever tell you to do something extra you ain't getting paid for? How long it take y'all to do that? Because you had to come remind me. I'm clocking out. <laughs> <laughs> Look, my boss called me taking extra long breaks. He said, don't be out there again for 40 minutes. I said, I won't. I went on break. 39 minutes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but I don't like going to work too much though, because I miss time to hang out. You know, go see a little girl or something. You ever get around a girl and she more manly than you? I'm, I'm, girl. I'm around around with her. I look over. She was scratching her nuts eating sunflower seeds. I said, <laughs> I said hold on. First of all, where did you get sunflower seeds from? She <laughs> threw me all the way off. Look here, look here. I love driving. But it seems like every day you got something new to worry about. I know y'all heard about the bridge falling, you know. My condolences to anyone who passed. But it ain't safe driving on no bridge no more. I was about to drive over to Woodrow Wilson the other day. Now the Woodrow Wilson, that connects South Maryland to North VA. You feel me? You see D.C. on one side, the harbor on the other. I'm about to drive over the bridge. I stop the car. I get out. This is the middle of the highway. I look on each side of the bridge to make sure they want Nan Nan coming. I'm talking about <laughs> Nan Nan. I don't care if it's somebody up under there on a kayak. You got to watch out for the <laughs> and hold the bridge up. Mm -hmm. I get back in the car. I'm driving over the bridge. Everybody flying past me. I seen the old lady. She doing 80 in a Camaro. I said, okay. But I was looking hard, though. She had on a life jacket and some goggles. I said, I understand. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But you know, I stay on that side of town a lot. You know, D.C. and everything, being right around the corner. I love to go hang out. But one thing for sure I ain't doing no more is, is popping out to these expensive birthday dinners. Because y'all do way too much. I spent $80 <laughs> on a pork chop in D.C. $80. I left out with the plate, table, and the chair. <laughs> thank y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. You are amazing. Come on, y'all. Yeah, I appreciate it. Well, I'm standing up. I'm telling you. <laughs> I didn't know. Yes. I, mean, I thought a shot in the dark, you don't never know what you're going to get. You mm -hmm. know? And man, from the word go, very funny, very excellent. The way you delivered it and everything. Brother, thank yes. you. Thank y'all. How long you been doing comedy? Uh, for about three years now, three, four years. You are really good. And good where job. are you? What, yes, what city? And um, Around Baltimore, Maryland, D.C., okay. you know. Okay, all right. That's your region. What, you you killing. You had a question for him, Katie? I got to get with him. I was so wary, dude. Mm -hmm. When I checked him in this morning, he, I thought, I thought Michael Carly was out here sacrificing people or something. He was. Oh, no. <laughs> I thought the nigga was in a coma when I saw him. I said, "Oh Lord, I hope he wake up in time for the show." 
I thought he thought he was in court. That nigga was well, shit. Daniel, you see all the things that they speculated on you. So well, the number one thing that I'm happy that you came and you was funny. So keep grinding yes. and shining. Tell Thank people you. how they can find you. Oh, wait, Y'all can find you me that. on Instagram wait, at wait. dang underscore oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Wait, wait. Before you tell them, I just want just to take a moment because a lot of times we have people come on here and they kind of funny. But you were really, really funny. So I just <laughs> okay. want you to see the response of the people. Cause you might you can't hear them applaud, but we're gonna let you see them applaud. This is some of yes. the stuff that people are doing. They're loving you, brother. Yes, you killed that <laughs> game, yes. baby. You knocked it out the ballpark. So thank you. Now tell the people, even Tim Buck too, who's a great comedian. All mm -hmm. of them give you your props. Tell them where they can find you, brother. Like I said, you can find me on Instagram at dang underscore llgm. Now hit us with a woo 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 woo. <laughs> this is you did a good Cole, job. You know, thank you, thank you, thank you. Job. Thank you, brother. You will be back. Thank All you. All right, I okay. appreciate that. <laughs> thank that's you. And, and, and you, you can know, tell he was himself. You know, yeah, he was himself. He wasn't playing no game. He just ah, oh, just it so was, funny. The time and the delivery, everything. Y'all just don't know that boy was shaking like they was like he was in court for the same for thing Paul Kelly was in court for. I swear. So to God. he was like he was like you last night. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. You came out on the other side, melon like a rose, just like he did. And listen, we got a musical artist that I haven't heard either. And you know, I was worried about the guy because whenever we have a shot in the dark, sometimes they're kind of surprising. And there's a great white comedian named Dana Gould, D A N A, as opposed to Daniel Gould. And I was like, well, that guy's a genius. I hope this guy's at least good. This guy is excellent. That Daniel Gould we just had this morning, that was an excellent, excellent set. And now we're going to have this wonderful young lady. Her name is Precious, and I, I can't even say the last name. Kel, uh, Katie, did you get the pronunciation of the last name? Did you? Um, I'm going to go with Omiji. I, I you actually, ask her? well, actually, even after talking to her, I wanted for murder because I butchered that that name. I killed that oh, name. You killed the name too. I, I'm sorry, I'm not watching the door now. I think I got warrants. This is. <laughs> well, let's bring her on and we'll figure it out, ladies and gentlemen. Get your hands together for Miss Precious Omiji. Woo! Yeah! Let's go! Woo! 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 Yeah! Can we change our panel? Make it a large one. There you go. Yes. Oh, hi. Hi. Where are you? I'm so I have a performance at a, a college tonight. So I just came to one of their studios to do this to show up for you guys today. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Hey, Katie, take down the Timbuk two uh, thing so that she have a full screen. There you go. What Will city you are you in? Go ahead. Sorry. Well, I'm in New York City. I'm in New York. Go ahead, New York. Where are you in Manhattan? No, right now I'm upstate, but where I live is Brooklyn. Okay, okay. So, her, go ahead, go ahead, Katie. I'm sorry. Her, she usually have her um her her husband with her, her boy, her husband boyfriend that does the the background, right? That does the the he plays the music. Me boyfriend? Oh, no, he's your he's somebody you guys play. He plays she said like the, me boyfriend. I wish. No, how okay. you, play? you think wait, about everybody? Wait a second. How come you don't have a boyfriend with your bad <laughs> self and singing and everything? What's going on? <laughs> Too focused, you know? Too focused. They're not ready. Okay, good answer. <laughs> good answer. All right. So will you do us a favor and pronounce that last name for us? Said it perfectly, actually, Omiji. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. he got so excited. Like he he him up. Are we live right now? What? We are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's minute. okay. It's okay, but you look amazing, and you're going to let everybody know that you're going to sing for us today. Yes. My boss will be back very, very soon. He had to run down the hallway and check on some things. He was so excited that he just was like, ah. Yeah, I told you he'd be right Guys, back. are we still on? Yeah. Yeah. Are we still? Can you see us? Yes. And where'd the lady go? Right, here. right there. Okay, there you are. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, one of our producers, retarded, uh, just called in the middle of the show and cut me off. I don't even know what that's about unless I'm sitting here butt naked and she needs to tell me something. Uh, okay, so Miss Omiji, thank you for coming. We appreciate you. What you gonna sing today? 
I'm singing an original song that I just wrote. It should be out next month. It's called Record Player. Oh, I like that record player. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the wonderful precious Omichi. Go ahead. I really like my record player back. Gave it to you on Christmas Eve. I was so naive. I was so, so, so in deep. If you can give that back to me, that'll be great. You see, what's mine and yours, yours, yours to keep. You know, J. Cole. So I'ma need that 2014 Four Seals Drive. You can't play that when you look into her eyes. And I can't help. But to feel bitter inside any place when you're kissing, I'm amazed that you listen without me. Yes, that was beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. We are so grateful. How long have you been singing, child? Just last year. <laughs> what? <laughs> Shut up. You just started last year? Yeah, I've just been um, co getting coaching from Craig Derry, my, my vocal producer, and mm. for like six months. <laughs> so I was just trying to get way better. Uh, hopefully by the time I'm like, you know, 25, I could be wow. where I like, really feel like I should be, you know? Like where I want to be. Yeah. We gonna hear you on the radio soon, girl. We gonna hear you. Yeah. We gonna hear you soon. I just went and bought the album. Y'all don't even know it ain't even out yet. Well, well, that's why I went. Your wonderful applause, and this girl can really sing, so she give you love. Is right. on Debbie Howard said it best. Just wonderful. It's right. just wonderful. Thank you. Tell people how they can find you. So I'm on Instagram at Omiji Music, O M I G I E Music. Omiji, you said it perfectly, yeah. Michael. <laughs> Shut the. Thank phone. you. <laughs> Yay! Well, we love you, and we just want to see beautiful. you blow up, and we want to hear your whole new album when it comes out. Thank and please you. come back and sing again with us. Thank please. you. Hey, thank can thank you so much you. for saying Keep yes. Keep grinding and shining, baby girl. Thank you. Leave us with a woo woo woo. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> precious. Omiji is precious indeed. Oh, man, that was great, great, and mm -hmm. great. Now, without further ado, our wonderful friend, Malira Green, relationship queen, is here to talk to us today. And I'm just watching this child unfold and just blossom. Ooh, I just like, love it, watching her life. Bring her on. A miss. Fabulous. Malira Green. Hey, hey. hey oh, hi. birthday girl. Hey, girl. How y'all doing? Fine. Them Aries are taking over. 
Yes, we fire. Did you enjoy your birthday? Listen, I think I enjoyed it too much. I feel like I need a year off, and then it'll be my birthday. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at you breaking out, though. I saw you in a black lingerie outfit you had on the other day, a two-piece thing. I called my wife. I said, baby, did you see Malira in a two-piece? She said, yeah, she put that up a little, about, a little while ago. She saw it somewhere. I was like, I hadn't seen that before. I said, girl is coming on with it. Yeah, I did that actually last year. So I had hosted a self-love photo shoot. Um, and I remember walking past the mirror one day. And as someone who is really big on like self-confidence and self-love and all of that, I would tell people, you know, how to change your mental to love yourself. But I'm like, if you can if you can walk past the mirror and not like what you see, me telling you to love yourself up here is not going to do nothing. So I literally did that photo shoot to help other women embrace who they truly are um, on the outside. Because you got to love what you see just as much as you love how you think about yourself, too. Wow. You lost weight since then, too, huh? Yeah, I'm down maybe Ooh. about 25 pounds. I still got 35 to go. We we struggling a little bit, but we in there, though. You ain't but struggling you. nothing, girl. You mm -hmm. look good. You feel good. You making others feel good, Malara. I'm so happy for you. Random, You know, I randomly text you and just be like, you are a gem. You, because you are. I don't, you know, I haven't known you as long as Michael, but you you played a big part in my life in the transition. And I listen, girl. You know, I don't like That's listening it. to nobody. So, <laughs> seriously, I, I just want to commend you. You keep doing your thing out here because it is people who watching. It is people who's listening. So keep doing your thing. You're not trying nothing. Everything you're doing is by grace. And it's showing your favor. Like, seriously. So keep doing your thing. You thank making people like me change, girl. Oh, thank you, honey. And, and Malara, she not joking because... The quiet is kept me and me and Stry be talking about you behind your back. It be all great stuff. We be like, girl, you see it this week. Did you see? Yeah. Girl, we love us from you and we watching you. We Thank watching you. you, we learning from you, and we growing for you. And if a woman ain't doing it, it's like it's like you're like watering us like plants. Like it's it's crazy. You grow and you know what they say about redheads. We have a whole bunch of moms. <laughs> I appreciate that, honestly. And as we talk about relationships, I think that's a good, like, set way of talking about the importance of friendship. I tell people all the time, like, you got to ask yourself, who do you have charging you up? And for me, I like to be a good charger cord. So when I meet people, you never know where they are. They may be at 100% and they may be at 5 But when you leave from my space, I should at least charge you up a little bit to make you a little bit better. And I think that's really what it is. It's important to show up in people's lives in such a way that they leave not the same and not because of trauma and you mess them up, but because you've actually brought a spirit of joy and happiness and peace that they can continue to thrive. So I really appreciate that because that's what I'm on the journey on right now is, is really just showing up in people's lives so then I get my flowers before I die. Like I want to be so dope in people's life that they feel like they got to tell me now. So when I die, I can't hear that, you know? So I think it's very important to be a, a good charger. Wow. I just, That's so I just don't need to understand you. You're so amazing in so many ways. I mean, you speak it right. You live it right. Like, I want to see you, and my wife is watching this show, but I want to see you in that black outfit now because you done lost a bunch of pounds since then, and you are slimming down. Everything about you is becoming more beautiful. I think you're really embracing the inner you with yeah. the greatness. And it's so it's shining out here like crazy. I need my, where my sunglasses? I can't, I can't even look at you with regular glasses. Girl, you're shining. Thank you. Thank you. It's, it's all God, man. Honestly, like really when it comes to relationship, is your relationship with yourself. Like this is my first time in my life that I know that I'm a gift that I know that I'm valuable, that I know that when I walk into the room before I even open up my mouth, I'm shifting atmospheres. You know, I know that when I'm going and I'm presenting, something that I say is going to transform someone's life. And I tell people, it's not about me being cocky. It's genuinely about me flowing in what God's purpose is in my life. And that's to be a life changer, not a game changer. Because that means we're playing games. That means we're, oh. we're having a chance. But I'm Come a on. life changer. I'm someone who wants to make sure that I push people to their purpose, but I can't do that if I'm not living it out myself. And what I tell people, matter of fact, this morning I made a post. I said, a duality of life sometimes can be scary. 
because right now I'm living my dream, but my motherhood journey is a little challenging as, you know, my daughter's trying to transition and get used to not having her dad around all the time. And there's a new relationship on the horizon. And someone asked me last week, which I'll address to have they met a uh, Trey or not. Um, but it's this space of like, I'm embracing it. Even with my challenges, I can still choose joy in this moment. And there's something so dope about that when you have that intimate relationship with yourself that you just don't give up and you keep showing up. Damn, that girl good, Michael. Man, you just made me so proud. I don't know why I ain't your daddy, but you make <laughs> me so proud. I mean, almost every week I see you do something that's showing us your energy and your courage and your drive, no matter what is going on in your life. So you teach us by example and your example is mm -hmm. always fabulous i love you thank you and yeah. you don't have to tell us you know you don't have to tell us yesterday we had dr um price on our and he was just mm -hmm. you know talking about you know therapists and stuff like that but i didn't want to you know interrupt him or kill his joy but one we know one therapist who is real we know one therapist who will put her lifeline you know tell us everything who's transparent so I mean, I mean every word that I was saying, and you know that I text you again on 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 my own because I'm proud of you as well. So just keep doing your thing. Thank you. Yay! What would you like to leave us with today? If there was one thought. So today, what I want to leave you guys with is just because life is life, and remember, it's not all of it. Um, like I said, right now, my biggest challenge is mommyhood. You know, I've I've heard some of the most hurtful things in the last few weeks, just as my daughter is trying to oh. deal with her own journey, and her own process. But because I realize that that doesn't mean that my entire life is going down, I focus on those things that are positive while utilizing my support group to sit down and say, hey, how can we better show up for her? You know, how can I grow? Like, what are some things as a mom that I might not be doing well? Um, I think we we cannot be afraid to address those areas that we need to do better. But then also while we're becoming better, don't ignore the things that are going well. Because um, right now I'm living out answers to prayers that I prayed for years. So I'm not going to allow for the challenge I have in one space to keep me from really embracing the power of that. So embrace the duality of life there's always good and bad yin and yang always happening but your focus is what matters because your emotions aren't good or bad is what you do with it so in the moments where i may feel frustrated in the moments where i may feel hurt i'm choosing to keep showing up i'm choosing to find other options i'm choosing to use my support system so that's where that relationships become really important is knowing the people that you can lean on when you're having those hard moments Wow, well, and you you're know, still doing a good job, Malara. Your daughter sometimes she might need a pop pop. You know, kids have choices. Back in the day, we didn't have a choice. You just had to go over your grandma's house and sit there until your mama came back. So you got to live your life too. Now I know that you a therapist and you know all the right stuff, but I'm still a little unfit. Me and Katie, and it's okay to live your life, baby. It's okay for that kid to sit there with that tablet and watch Disney or Nickelodeon. They'll be all right. They will. <laughs> They'll be mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. I'm a, I'm unfit. I'm a and I got a daughter that graduated from college, double major, double minor, all American, player of the year, two seasons in a row, and now she play professional basketball. Yes. Now you're doing a good job, Malara. So don't let that baby make you feel like that. She'll be all right. Let her go play with her Barbie doll or in that baby doll house. She'll be all right. You doing I, a good job, what mom. I think, what I think is she's gonna learn about excellence from mm -hmm. watching how you handle your current situation. Because your current situation could be tough. It could be depressing. It could throw you through all kind of ugly uh, ways, but it doesn't. You yeah. stand tall no matter what is going on. And even with the trauma of having to deal with the baby, having to accept it and understand it and see a difference in life, even with that, you stand with your head high and she'll learn from that. Because yeah. situations in life are not always sweet and beautiful. A lot of times trauma and drama comes in. So it's not about what happens to you. It's how do you deal with it? Yeah. This is important. How do you deal with it? You gonna deal with it with dignity, with learning, with grace and growing, or are you gonna cower and stand back and accuse people and all that ugliness? Every loving thought is real. Yeah. Everything else is an appeal for healing. So anything that's about love is real. So just keep on spitting love. Keep on sharing positivity. Keep on doing joy. And your daughter and even your ex will all see how you glow and shine, and we will all heal from it. I'm Thank very you. proud of you. 
Thank you. Oh, if you okay. need me to play on his phone, I will too. Okay, love you. <laughs> <laughs> Tell people how they can find you. Yeah, so you can find me at www.malaratransforms.com. I'm actually promoting my very first conference. It's a mind, body, and spirit combined conference where I want to start to bring mental health within the church. Um, you cannot have faith if you don't believe you're valuable enough to actually believe that there's a higher power that cares enough about you to take care of you. So you can find that ticket at my website as well. That conference is going to be on May the 25th in Portsmouth, Virginia at Grove Church VA. Also, Instagram, Malara Transforms, Facebook, just Malara Green. And then that number for the Korea Clan, 757-609-0694. And I'm celebrating my birthday all April. So that dollar sign, Malara Green, is still up and running. <laughs> love, love, love. We love you so much. Leave us with a woo, woo, woo. Woo, woo, woo. All right, I'm going to that dollar sign. We got to hook you up for your birthday. I love you. Thank you, Malara Green. Oh, God. She shows us how to live, you know, and she does it with relative ease and grace. I'm just, I'm proud to know her. Time to talk to Jesus now. Please Let me excuse call him. me. You already have. Once you said his name, you make already sure you him. pray. Make sure you pray for me too, boss. Extra prayers for you. Yeah. Jesus on the main line. Tell, Tell him what, what you, you want. want. Oh, Jesus on the main line. Tell, Tell him what, what you want. want. He, has, he said he would like us to stop singing. Okay. <laughs> Without further ado, let's get to prayer. Let's start with a holy breath. You want to hold that breath and think one positive thought. What miracle do you want to happen for you today? Now exhale. Father God, Mother God, as we open our hearts, our souls, our minds, our spirits, we ask you to just come on in and fill us with your love, your peace, your passion, your joy, your wisdom, your sense of kindness, your sense of understanding, and greatly, greatly your sense of forgiveness. Father God, let us all learn to forgive everybody for everything they've ever done to us. But most importantly, let us forgive ourselves for all the things we think we've done. We know that in your eyes, God, you've already forgiven us. You know, people be walking around and say, oh, I got to beg the Lord for forgiveness. You don't have to beg the Lord for anything. God already knows who you are. He knew what you was going to do a thousand years before you did it. Ain't like you're going to surprise him. He didn't see that coming. The hell out of here. He already knows who you are. He knows your heart. He always loves you unconditionally. All you have to do now is learn how to love yourself. Because once you love you, whatever's going on inside is what goes on outside. When you see people doing negative stuff to people, that ain't even about the people. It's about the doer. Because what's going on inside the doer is the only thing he can spill forth. Spill forth love. Spill forth life energy joy power oh father god we ask you pray that you bless us there and bless us indeed we 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 want you to enlarge our territory we want you to take that hand and guide us past evil so we will cause no pain in fact take that hand and guide us towards more love more peace more power more joy more wisdom more humor <laughs> if you can laugh at a thing get off of me why i oughta if you can laugh at a thing you can get through a thing, no matter how heavy it is. And something Malaya Green just said that sticks with me so tight. She said, if you could just remember that God cares enough about you to look out for you. <laughs> Come on, y'all. She said that. She put a new fire under me when she said that. God cares enough about us to look out for us. Now all we have to do is get out of our own way. So what is ours by divine right that can come directly to us? Oh, y'all don't understand what a day it is. It's Friday, fun day, and we're in here dancing with the Lord. Oh, Father God, we want to say thank you for so many things. Thank you for our hearts. Thank you for our spirit. Thank you for this opportunity to hang out with great people and to ape their act. Thank you for the Kalia clan, my co-host. Thank you for Mike Ware today. Bring me down here to do six shows over at the, at the Fabulous Club here in, in uh, where are we? Uh, Memphis, Tennessee. But I'm doing what I love to do, and I'm going to leave with a sack of money. We doing this show May 17th. I don't care if I got to sell comic books. We're going to make it happen. You know how I know? Because God cares enough about me to look out for me. Wow. I knew that when he gave me my wife, when he gave me the wonderful Sonia. I said, look at God, look at out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So thank you, God. Thank you for everything. Thank you for this day. Thank you for our health. Thank you for our life. Thank you for my friends. I call them co-hosts, but them two girls are my friends, for real, for real. And I'm so honored to work with them. Thank you, Rosa May, for always executive producing one of the best shows in the world. Of course, Malika's out there, and she's handling the string. She's the string master. She got it all going. Everything's in order because God is great. 
Not just every now and then. Not just when you need him. But God is great every day. If you want anything positive, reach out to the Lord because the universe is always conspiring for your good. The universe wants you to be better. It wants you to be happy. So all you have to do is set your intention and work towards it. That's what I'm doing for May 17th. I don't have a clue how we're going to pull it off, but I tried some of the new material last night in the show, and it went good. So God is great all the time. And so we say thank you. 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 Amen. 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 I mean, I say, boom, shakalaka. And the famous words of those of us who call ourselves the Kaya clan, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on, somebody. Yeah, boy. That was a good prayer. I know he heard me because I'm loud. God <laughs> is great, and you ain't too bad yourself. And now we can round this thing up with our favorite. Every Friday, we wrap the show up with just the most wonderful person. This Angela Michelle, even if she couldn't cook, we'd want to be her friend. Yeah. Because she's just this really wonderful, sweet, open, loving person. And she mm -hmm. got a great husband. There's something important about relationship. When you get the relationship straight, straight, you become a whole and everything starts working in your life. It becomes magical. Her and Hank do the dance of life and I love just watching them. They inspire me, but I love her and her food. So let's bring her on and see what's cooking with Angela Michelle Culinary Kisses. In the Hi. Hello. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Hello. We miss you. I miss you too, girl. How y'all doing today? Good. We got some good news though for you. Well, I do. What? I've been cooking lately. Like for real. Like, no. Like for real. For real. I put my cup down on that. You've been cooking. What you been cooking? I have asked Katie. Sometimes I'm talking to her and I'm like, Katie, I'm cooking. She be like, bull crap. And I'll be like, no, for real. I got to know how to cook a little bit. I'm the world's what? best orderer. I'm the world's best <laughs> Oh but my gosh. No, she because if I like, if a man like me for real, I at least got to know how to make something. Some. Some. Okay. Well, you know, you have my number. Text me when you cook it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yes. I wish you and Hank could fly out to Memphis for this Sunday and cook you know, at the house. You know, I wish we could too. Okay. I'm just putting it out there. You don't know. Whitney, you could have a windfall tomorrow. I have that's what I was going to say. Put it out in the atmosphere. I have this many lotto tickets. I've been playing lotto like crazy, but I've never gone to check them out. So I'm oh, going today and put each one under a little thing. There you go. Please do, Bob. There you go. And, and buy one when you in Memphis. Buy some while you in Memphis, Ooh, too. Yeah. Um, I'm buying some every day till the show rocks. Now, if I mess around and hit for like a million, all bets are off on the show because I'll be in Paris shopping. But I'm just saying, <laughs> otherwise, what are you cooking you today? Let me get $10 so I get my taxes before you leave. He gonna have to pay I'm trying to get, get in for a thousand. Can I get a grand? <laughs> you gonna put yourself year. out. I'm going to be in the luggage. Him and Sonya don't know. I'm going to be in the luggage. I'm going to pop right out. I'm here. Oh, oh that's goodness. hilarious. So what are you cooking for us today? So you guys know what this is? Plantain. Plantain? Yes. Yes. Katie, do you have the other camera on? Yeah, I don't like plantains. You don't? Me I only like plantain chips. That's the only plantains that I oh, like. Honey. I don't like sweet with cider. That's a challenge for me. A plant That's a challenge for me. That God has. Only mistake God made, he was trying to make a banana. And on his first try out, it just did not work out. He said, this whole plain thing. Wait a minute, we'll call it a plantain. So that's how we get plantains. Um, I don't even know what it is. Is it a fruit or a vegetable? You explained it best, boss. I know, right? I know, right? It's a fruit. It's a fruit? So I have some fried here. But I want to tell you the secret. The secret is slicing them and putting in lime garlic water. That's the secret. What does that what does that do to it to the banana? Does it make it softer? It flavor. Oh, it adds flavor. flavor. This is the marinade. So I don't really like food you gotta add flavor to, like lobster. <laughs> Lobster ain't even got no taste. The taste of lobster is butter. Okay? But that's a lie. <laughs> you just want to eat a bunch of butter. 
Get the dip it, dip it. it doesn't give it flavor, it adds flavor. It enhances Australia. it. Australia. So what does it taste like? Lobster tastes like the lobster that I've had, especially being in the islands, it tastes uh -huh. a different taste. It tastes like 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 crab, but a little blander. It's good to me. Really? You can eat yeah, a lobster, it tastes a little sweet. People love it. Well, next time I want to eat a stick of butter, I'm just going to get me some lobster. Lobster, please. Extra butter. Okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. So this is what I use to smash the plantain with and make it flat. But have you guys seen this? You're telling me, excuse me, you're telling me there is a thing made just for smashing plantain? Yes. What? Yes. You put it in there and you smash it flat. It has a little hole. And you bam, oh. and it's flat. All right, okay. <laughs> that one about, I, don't, I don't know if I like that. Okay. <laughs> but oh, this is what we're show. this is what we're using today. Look at this one. <sighs> I gotta big you up now. I need her picture to be the whole one. Oh, yeah, so I can see. Oh. So you nice. see that it has the hole in there, and there's the part in there. We're gonna make plantain cups. Whoa, we might, we might have to go to one screen because you're getting an echo. Oh, I know. Yeah, you can go to one screen. I don't know when Katie and I test it out, it tests. I can't hear you at all. You all your sound is gone now, mama. What about now? Oh, I can hear you now. In the right. echo, count to six. Count to six. Okay. Count to six. One, two, One, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, right, seven, eight. All right. Oh, oh she's the overachiever. All right, go ahead. <laughs> okay, so I, I had my plantains and soaking in the water. I took them out and I fried them on both sides. So you have to fry them. Put that back. I see what's going on now. Here. Just like okay. that. And then I smash it with this. You guys ready? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! Here we go. Oh, man. Oh, I'm oh, so sorry. Oh, that's painful right there. Oh, and Lord. when it comes out, look, you have a nice plantain bowl that you can stuff stuff in. Let me see if I can take it out without breaking. I need my knife here. Here, I'll come under here so you guys can see it. Well, you're gonna stuff it there we go. You're gonna stuff it with Look at that. Uh, okay. Yep, so it creates a little cup that you can stuff stuff in. So I got this, you know, there's the almighty shopper, right? Of the store that's of, You must have a lot of spare time on your hands. If you figure out a way how to make a cup out of a plant. <laughs> he just sitting around the house with food and gadgets. What, what happened if I put the thingy in the... Okay, all right. I'm sorry. How much job? I like being creative. <laughs> okay, so now we got a plant and cup. What do we put in the cup? Yes. So I have some... Can you see? Oh, you can see pretty good. So I have some ground turkey that I seasoned, so it's like, you know, like taco meat, right? So this is, yeah. oh my God, so this is what I'm going to put in the plantain cups. You ever make turkey tacos? Yeah, that's what this, this is leftover meat from turkey tacos, yeah. Yeah, I love turkey tacos. I know, so do the I. Turkey, the turkey ain't that happy about it, but I'm just saying. Poor Take turkey, meat. poor, poor turkey. <laughs> Well, Anthony, but, Anthony is asking, what kind of rice are you stuffing it with? I don't think you said nothing about rice, did you? No, but you can stuff it with rice. You can stuff it with beans, rice, meat, whatever peanut you butter. choose can to. You do with peanut butter? Can you do it with peanut butter? I don't know about peanut butter now. I mean, if you, you want to stuff it with some peanut butter and jelly. Girl, the other day I found some gluten, some gluten free, gluten free weed. Gluten free weed. I'm just joking. Marijuana. I'm just joking. Oh, boy. I'm joking. <laughs> weed ain't gluten free yet, y'all, but we're working on it. We want you to be working on it. For the people who won't eat watermelon without seeds, don't worry. 
Oh God, no. I give me a watermelon with seeds. Oh, give me a seedless watermelon. I want one with seeds, but if it's seedless and sweet, take me to the factory and chemical me. I'm it. Give me that. Give me that. You said take me to the factory. That's where it came from, too. Yes. <laughs> So you got your cups, you got your cups, you stuffing it with yes. ground, turkey. So I'm gonna put some hot things on here. So we have cheese. You can put a little cheese on here if you want. I mean, just like a regular taco, right? You can hook it up just like a regular taco. So you can run it in the oven if you wanted to, or you can leave it like this. And you can put a little lettuce. Lettuce. Cut it up really small. Little little tomato. Ooh. There you go. And I mean, if you want to be really creative, you can put salsa and sour cream on here. You can wherever you want it. I see what you're doing. You're trying to figure out a way how to kill the taste of the plant. So you just fill it up with so much other stuff. You forget that you no. eat a wrongly made banana that got smashed in an accident and turned no. into No, no, it tastes good by itself. <laughs> Are, are planting seed at all? So, oh, that's a really good question because the one I used is green. Here, let me show you. Um, did I keep the peeling? Okay, yes, I did. So the one I'm using is green, right? It has a green peel. This means that it has not ripened. So it's very hard, very firm. That's why we have to cook oh, it. Oh, you <laughs> like your planting like you like your plant and like you like your man. All right, go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, um, I'm not even gonna comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you get one that looks like this, and you might look at this and go, that's spoiled. It is not. This is a Fellas. ripe plantain. Fellas, if you have one that look like that, go directly to your physician. I'm sorry, go ahead. <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so, when it starts to have like the, the black coloring on it, it looks like it's spoiled. It's not. It's actually mm. super sweet inside. It's so good. So this is ripe and this is green. This is not ripe. Okay. So you want them nice, crispy, crunchy, moldable. You want them green. But if okay. you want something sweet and savory and delicious, you want mm. them totally fried. And these you can bake in the oven. You don't have to fry them. They're already soft. I didn't know plantains had different personalities. Okay. Yeah, they do. Go ahead. It's right. new. So now okay, let's so the finish it. product. You can put a little plate and put these on so you guys can see them up close. <laughs> but this is it. These are my little plantain cups. What? There we go. So I'll show you right there. Oh, and it's lovely. Presentation is everything. Like you yes, can put a little sprig of green on there, a little parsley on the side of it or something. Oh, Maybe I have some look. cilantro right here if you want some cilantro on there. That looks nice. You yes. can put cilantro, avocado. What's avocado? Where is that at? Right here. Can you see it? Oh, you cut the avocado and I've never seen an avocado sliced like that. Really? I gotta, try, I gotta try that. That's very nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's like a little sliver. Well, I told you I'm getting to cook this Sunday because my wife is coming down here to Memphis. And, you know, we have this beautiful Airbnb with a big old kitchen. So we're going to cook oh. like a Sunday meal like like Big Mama used to do. So oh, I my God. Cook my God. Seriously. And Dr. Oh, Dove is, is bringing oxtails. Oh. I want to come. I need. Let me see how much. Let me see how much tickets are. Y'all gonna have some flyer, frequent flyer points. You ready to go, Doc? Hey, boss. I, I, the man I, who owned the club, y'all. <laughs> come on in here, Doc. Hey. This, this, this Mike Ware, who owns a fabulous club in Memphis called Chuckles. He been bringing me down here for about fifteen years. Every Aww. year he bring me down and hook it up. Isn't she Aww. beautiful? That's the woman cooking. She's amazing. My co-host, all them women, just fabulous. Hi. He said, how y'all doing? He, they said, hi, because it's in my ear, so you can't hear him. Wait, I, I have two questions. Thank you for um, taking care of Michael. Questions. She said, first, thank you for taking care of me. What's your next question? Oh, no, I didn't. And um, No, the next question is for Chef. 
Okay, we're about to leave. Give me two minutes. We wrap it up. Go. We got to wrap it up. We're almost there. The show's over in five minutes. All right, go ahead. Okay, I got two questions. The first question for the plantain, um, what is it called? The, 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 the. The, the smashing the plantain. The, the what is it called? The smasher upper. What is that called? Um, let me see here. I don't know if it has a name, but it can is. you use that for nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you caught me off guard with that one. <laughs> you caught me off guard with that okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. Forget it then. Don't worry about it. I got a joke. I got a joke. I got a joke. Katie, come okay, back. Okay, I got okay. a joke. Katie, come back. I got a joke. Okay. Okay, the here's the joke. the joke. What? Okay. What did the monkey? Hold up, hold up. I gotta make sure I say it right. <laughs> Why do women? Wait, 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 wait. Why do women call the you know our private part monkey? Why do they call the ladies private part monkey? I think I know. Monkey? Okay. Why? Go ahead, what? What do you think? Because they always want a banana. So, so, so kind of close because I was gonna say they eat bananas because they eat bananas. <laughs> oh no. Oh. So I see we're staying with the theme of plantain. <laughs> that was kind of funny. That was really good. All right, so how do we how do we wrap it up? What you get? Oh my goodness! How do we wrap it up? Okay, so I'm gonna give you some ideas on where you can do this. You can use this for breakfast and put like an egg sausage scramble in there and serve it. It's great when you have a lot of people over, right? You can do it like that. You can do it as a twist on taco night. You can do it with sweet ones and put some brown sugar and honey on there and serve what? it that way with a little ice cream. It's versatile. It's like, Girl, no, Shreya, I'm gonna make you some plantains when I see you. I yes, I am. am. Yes, I am. I'll eat those. I, I'm. I would. I'm willing to try yours because how you dressed it up. But okay. again, I just don't like sweet and savory. I don't like teriyaki. I don't like, uh, oh. yeah, I don't like stuff like this. Okay, but you would try this one? I would try yours. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. I'm okay. up. Sippin', sip, nigga, dip, nigga, set, trip, nigga, got a grip, nigga, get a grip, nigga, with the gang and roll. Just wanted to break it up a little, that's all. Boss, okay. you, you know Plantain must not be that good because we have not seen. Oh, he's no, he's on the business meeting. He didn't come in. Hank ain't reaching for He's on the business meeting. I know, you ain't seen his hand yet. He's up there on the business call. He's like, I came today. I got to go. Call. Call. Yeah. Okay. If you done it with bananas, I bet you he'd have shown up. <laughs> Nigga G'd up, sippin', sip, nigga, dip, nigga, set, trip, nigga, got a grip, nigga, get a grip, nigga, with the gang and rollin' with the Alpine bang in. It's Friday fun day, baby. Yes, okay. it is. I see show on the final one. Take it to just one picture. Here. That's her. So it's big enough. No, no, no. Since can't be here. Ooh. That's what you like. Oh. Yum. That mm -hmm. is delicious. I even like looking at the table over there with the fixings and the whole thing. Oh, yo, man, man, he must be getting over big time. <laughs> do y'all even bother to go to restaurants or does he try to stay? Not really. Every once in a while, but not really. I usually, I cook every day. Several times a week, I usually cook. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, baby. Tell people how they can find you. I'm here every Friday on the one and only Michael Call Your Morning Show. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can ask somebody because I'm always here. And you can find me all over social media and my website at Culinary Kisses. Culinary Kisses with Angela Michelle. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love you. You always kill. Hey, we out of here, y'all. It's 10 o'clock straight up. And we are on time type of show today. I want to thank the fabulous Angela Michelle for always bringing us tastiness in the food and in her personality. Gotta take, thank both of my co-hostesses, which are most of us, both Katie and Straya got down for your sporting crowd. That girl came in here today and sang her face off, and that comedian was excellent. We will be back Monday, y'all, with more show for you. I love y'all so much, ain't nothing you can do about it. If you're anywhere near Memphis, please come and see me 
at the world famous Chuckles, Chuckles Comedy Club in Memphis. And this girl here is the feature of life. She is killing the game. Hey, Stray, I hope you make it because it's the Michael Callier Morning Show. But we got to wrap it up because it's time to go. I got Katie and Straya and Angela too. And we did our thing, yet we did the do. It's the weekend, y'all. Let's go have fun. Don't act like some silly son of a gun. Keep God first and rock your life. And hey, everybody, I got a wife. <laughs> love you, Ma. I'm going to see y'all later. I love you. Have a fantastic weekend. If you don't, it's your fault. Stay positive. Stay good. Pull up, Memphis. Love pull yourself. Up. Come on, Memphis. Pull up. Bring your mom and Pookie and run, run. We need the money. And do not forget, Indy Gogo, Michael Callia, 3.0. We're going to have fun out there. See you later. God is great. And I'm hitting that bye button. I hit it. Okay. I'm hitting it. There go. Bam.